Remember the American teacher who was shot and killed in Benghazi, Libya? Well, he will be laid to rest today in Austin, Texas. Ronnie Smith was gunned down two weeks ago today near the site of last year's deadly assault on the U.S. consulate. Now his widow is coming forward to talk about her husband's mission, and she has some surprising words for his attackers. Anna Werner has the story. Anita Smith and her husband Ronnie moved to Benghazi with their infant son on a journey of faith. Both wanted to help bring about peace. We knew beforehand that Libya is not safe. We still wanted to go somewhere where we wanted to bless the people. Did you feel like you were ever a target there? Over time I really didn't feel unsafe. Um, once we started really knowing our neighbors and them taking us into their homes and them loving us, it just was normal life. He taught chemistry to high school students at an international school. They made friends and adjusted to a new culture, even to the sounds of bombing at night. It was even a joke within the city among the Libyan people just saying, have you gotten used to the bombs or that sort of thing. So then it became more normal and more not scary. Looking back now, do you think the two of you were naive at all? Not at all. We, we knew before going into Libya that this was, that there was risk. We were doing this because we wanted to follow what God has for us, and that's to show the Libyan people his love and his forgiveness. The family had planned to return to America to spend the holidays with family and friends. Anita and son Hosea left in mid-November. Ronnie was to meet them a few weeks later. He never made it. On December 5th, gunmen in a car shot and killed Ronnie as he jogged on this street near the couple's home. What do you think you're going to miss the most about Ronnie? Just um, because we, it seems like we grew up together. He's just been daily in my life all these years growing together and just imagining the rest of life without him. It doesn't seem real. She says friends and neighbors in Benghazi, including her husband's high school students, have called to express their condolences. In return, she wrote an open letter to all Libyans. I hear people speaking with hate, anger, and blame over Ronnie's death, but that's not what Ronnie would want. Ronnie would want his death to be an opportunity for us to show one another love and forgiveness because that's what God has shown to us. And she included a message to her husband's killers who have yet to be captured. I love them and I, I forgive them and I have nothing against them. Anita Smith says she wants to make a return trip to Benghazi to visit friends and neighbors to mourn together. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Austin, Texas. And she wants to go back. Yeah, um, and is offering them forgiveness, which is incredible. The commitment to stay and live and teach there with everything that has happened, extraordinary. Absolutely.